So thank you for coming. Uh, please tell me a few more words about today's match against Iga. Well, Iga started pretty good. First set, I did. I wasn't really catching up, but um, then I took a toilet break and I just kind of restarted. And second set was definitely much better than the first one. But then I didn't really use many chances that I had, or many, a few actually. So uh, yeah, then she break my serve like she needed, and that was the whole point of second set. Mm -hmm. You played in final of Adelaide against Arena Sabalenka, and now you played against Iga. How could you compare these two matches? Which was more difficult? Um, I would say that today was a little more, uh, more difficult, but um, with Arena back in uh, January, it was uh, it was definitely tough. They both are pretty aggressive, but Arena might have been just a little more um, more aggressive that day because also a few weeks later she won a Grand Slam, so that was pretty a uh, great match for me to play and also today it was just pretty good experience to play number one in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, last season was very good for you, a breakthrough for your still young career. Did you expect some quite to be in the top 10, not top 10, maybe in the future <laughs> I hope, but in the top 100, yes, because you start last year in the top 300, yes, and now you're on a 59 uh, place in the WTA ranking. Yeah, definitely the Adelaide helped me jump from 120 to around 50, so um, it's definitely a better experience for me because I get to play 1000s and all these bigger uh, tournaments and matches and I get to play the best tennis players in the world, which is uh, really great for my tennis career. Mm -hmm. uh, women's uh, tennis is, uh, has a lot of success now. Yes, Krejcikova, Vondrushova, Mukhova. Yeah. And how could you explain it? Because, you know, it's a small country, <laughs> yes, yeah. but still lots of uh, <clears throat> champions from this, this small country. In this. Yeah, I would say it's pretty much historical because of uh, Novotna, Navratilova, and uh, all these male. Czech players as well, Lendl, let's say, and um, I think it's kind of like we see all these players that already made it and we just want to be like them and it's very important for young players to play tennis as well, so there's a lot of like, so, you know, kids schools and a lot of tennis clubs, so it's all like starting from the young age, I think. And I uh, heard that also the uh, legends of tennis sometimes give the experience to the younger generation, yes? Or yeah, generation? definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the question about US Open last year, because that was a special match for you with mm -hmm. uh, Lucy Hradecka, yes, against yeah. Sister Williams. How did you feel before the match and after the match, yes? Um, when I looked at the draw, I was pretty shocked because I was coming to the US Open just to see Serena because it was obviously her last tournament so I saw her and I saw her in the draw and then on court so that was pretty exciting for me and I'm gonna cherish that moment like probably forever that was definitely the best tennis moment for me so far. And do you still have a wallpaper on the computer? With yes I do have it probably everywhere like phone, like notebook as uh, a picture above my, you know, bed or something in the living room, so it's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Your goals from the this season and the next se the next season, what what are your goals and dreams in in tennis? Well, goals, I would definitely want to win at least, uh, well, uh, to be at least in finals of a of some, you know, of some title or just to win a title, so. Um, definitely some 55, uh, 50, 250k uh, tournament would be great for me. So, and also just to be on the quality of, uh, just to maintain my quality and get it better, obviously, and maybe stay and maybe get better at the ranking. Mm -hmm. God knows. Do you have an idol in tennis, maybe, or in general in sport? Um, 
Well, it's always been Serena, but like active player, I I'm not sure if I have so one right now. So this match in last year was very special, yes, for yeah, you. Yeah, the the most special. Mm -hmm. Okay, so last uh, two questions. You are in a semi-final last year in Prague, and that was at home. That was easier or harder to play in you you know near the home fans, but more expectation. What do you think? Um, well, I played it for the first time. I also got a, I also played doubles and I got the home crown cheering and it was very, very homey, very like uh, cozy, I would say, but obviously I, I had some pretty tough matches like with Cornet or Boskova, mm -hmm. so I'm just hoping to uh, in a few rounds, in uh, in a few days. Mm -hmm. And the last question: uh, What is your favorite surface? I don't know, clay or grass or ha hard court. Grass maybe it's hard to say because still not a lot of matches. Yeah, yeah, I had like three, I think, four maybe matches on grass. So uh, that's probably not my favorite, but um, hard court is probably my top favorite, but on clay I do have a lot of great results, so it's like mixed. Roland Garros, yeah, for example. Few. <laughs> yeah, few. Okay, yeah. so thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Good you luck. too. Thanks.